And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia Aphelios. We're going to be playing a, another uh, Talia deck. Sorry, another Aphelios deck <laughs> after the Aphelios nerf. That's what I meant to say. Um, with the three mana moon weapons. It didn't look too bad whenever we had Aphelios earlier. It still looked like a pretty powerful card, but it is definitely going to be slower. But really what we wanted to try to build, like we're still trying to build a competitive Talia deck. It's pretty difficult. Not gonna lie, it's pretty difficult. But I think that maybe, I think still going with like Aphelios is probably the way to go because of how powerful Aphelios is and um, like all these different moon weapons, like how you can give your um, Talia Overwhelm, which can be really important. You can try to help stay alive with Severum and you know, you have like these other different options as well. So it's probably the best way to go with Talia. Now, before the Aphelios nerf, it was difficult to play this kind of deck because um, you were, you know, you were playing like an Aphelios deck that was just kind of worse than like all the other people playing Aphelios decks. But now if like nobody else is playing Aphelios decks, maybe, you know, we kind of have like a little niche here where we, we can play Aphelios and play against people that are not playing Aphelios and still do okay. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the hope. We're going to have our, our Veil Temple still for our Talia to be able to copy the Veil Temple. It hurts quite a bit that the Veil Temple doesn't buff up the health anymore. Um, but you know, that's, that's life these days. Uh, let's see. So we're going to, yeah, we're, we're going to try this out. We'll have our uh, one mana gifts from beyond. They'll be able to help turn on Nightfall and be a nice uh, burst spell. Should help out. Um, so yeah, let's let's see how we do with some Talia Aphelios. We're going to go play over in ranked. We're in Masters ranked with Talia. Okay. Playing against some Lulu Shen Jarvin. That looks like a cool combination. Um, back to just win or lose. There we go. Started it. Okay, so we're going to mulligan one Talia, and honestly, we're probably mulliganing the other Talia as well. It just doesn't really help us um, right away. You know, it costs five mana. We don't need to, like, keep the five mana card in hand. Getting aggro. And here's where I paint my constellation. Let's go, get an aggro. Aggro Talia. Ah, that thing's big. Shake the land and give it life. I think I just pass right here. See what they do. All right, so just that. Because if this gets like a barrier out of their hand, then we're trading like our two mana spell for a barrier. That'd be pretty nice. Could get like a sharp side and then we you know, trade even on mana, but then they get to draw a card. What form will the waters take? The waters are still. We swim within the flows of magic. Trying to get rid of these river shapers and not let them keep drawing so many spells. That's fine. A gift from the river folk. <sighs> Talia. Two worlds. Mm. 
Well, that's too bad. Okay, we have played a landmark this game. Good. It's the ancient hourglass. Duty, selflessness, heavy burden. I guess that's a thing. Certainly considering discarding Talia. It's the worst card in my hand. It's unfortunate, but it's life. I still can't do that with Ride Negation. So that's two out of four. Thank you, Master Cookies. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. Cosmic Rays or Supernova? Cosmic Rays would get all of these things that are currently in play if they don't have Bert, if they don't have pump spells, but these are not like the real powerful cards in their deck. I think I take Supernova. Lap Steel Barrier. All right, now I wish I would have taken the... With them using the Lifesteal Barrier, I wish I would have taken the other card, the... Uh... The 8-mana one instead of the 9-mana one. Yeah, definitely should have taken the 8-mana one. Because challenge against a barrier just doesn't work out that well. Whoa, Aphelios. We have a champion. We have a champion. So it's basically either like play this and go grab like Rock Hopper or try to Supernova, which is not going to be as good against Deny. All right, I'm with you, Cordex. Say we gotta play this. Embrace the night, Aphelios. I demand satisfaction. All right, well, didn't quite work out. Protect and strike. Reach out, 
Okay, we were starting to come back, though. We were starting to come back. If only I would have grabbed the 8 mana card and not the 9 mana card. Alright, we got some Nightfall. Alright, so we're going to keep Aphelios and uh, Mulligan the rest. No, I'll keep Shapestone also. Shapestone could be pretty nice. Hourglass is good. Like Hourglass plus Talia is kind of like one of our combos in our deck if we can get it where we can um, Hourglass and save something. And then have Talia copy of that. That would be really nice. We can take some hits. We got Nexus healing. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Serpent. Save Aphelios. So it's a pretty useless moon weapon. So I'm going to discard it, get a celestial card instead. Guess the charger? The Crescent Strike? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna heal our Nexus. We'll have some top end. We will have some top end. How did that not make a moon weapon? The full moon awakens the why did why did it not make a moon weapon right there? I don't understand. I mean, I played Spacey Sketcher for my first card and discarded the Moon Weapon, and then I played this Fang. So like, why would why did that Fangs not make one? Oh, because of Ancient Hourglass. Okay, how did Ancient Hourglass do anything? Keep giving us the overwhelm. The actual worst one. <laughs> like any of the other four. Because even the lifesteal one, you're like, okay, well, lifesteal. You leave me no recourse. Moonlight guide me. Okay, okay, I see what y'all are saying. Hourglass, it was set at, at for last round, the, the previous round. Okay, now I understand. It doesn't resummon it. Inferno. 
This will only be my second moon weapon to cast. That's a good card. One short from Star Shaping and Spirit Fire. It's so Nocturne Diana deck is really good. I've always thought that this kind of deck is very good. Keep saving Ophelia's. So we want to use uh, two regular mana, so we're going to play this card. Right now I'm at seven. Can't play any of these cards. Which one would be the best for me? I mean, I guess it's Supernova. I don't know, Scourge seems kind of cool. Ophelios. If it's made of sand, I... The moon speaks of Ophelios. You are its voice. Ophelios is still good. So I'm thinking if my opponent um, wants to like play some something pre-combat to like do the whole give my enemies minus one minus zero this round, then we'll have time to then we get to play Supernova, and we can get rid of Nocturne in that way. Our light grows brighter. Because otherwise they just attack like this, and we can have our 3-1 block Nocturne. Oh, I don't behold another Celestial card, do I? We strike when the sun goes down. I... guess I don't, do I? Well, that didn't work out for me. If I would have got the, you know, zero mana spell, it was burst speed. If they played something else, but they're not playing anything else, so. Yeah, it didn't work out for me. Alright, so a Nocturne gone. Well, gone back into the deck, that is. So 
Great Beyond would be 13 power. 13 power elusive. Usually find like a, a card like Great Beyond. You know, like we can probably find a Great Beyond with Living Legends and maybe get other stuff as well. And it's good to play multiple cards because of Veil Temple. All right, let's do this. Night flowers upon my blade. All right, so I attack out the two one trades with my three two, so that's gone. But we heal for three, and we do some damage to them. Nocturnes, champion spell. Killed my 5-1 and made a priestess. They got that celestial card, whatever it is. Okay, that could be good. Get it, Talia. The moon approaches her zenith. May her silver light enshroud us. We'll stun that one. Less, less, less. Going down to one. That's not a lot of life. Yeah, Tali can't block these fearsomes, even if I wanted to. Could have blocked the charger and saved some more life with that. Okay, so now my next spell, I have to refill four mana. So if I play like Scourge, we'd have four mana left. Probably my best thing to play. Scourge, then Warrior. Could have started with Warrior, so I would have got an extra buff on this, but it's not like it has Overwhelm. One mana short from making elusive moon weapon and then, you know, like moon, <laughs> you know, and then veal or like the uh, lifesteal moon weapon. So if these two are just like pill cascades or unspeakable horrors. It's unspeakable horror. They would have cast in response and then gotten a doom beast kind of card. All right, so we got to kill Nocturne. That's important. I feel like. I feel like that was good, killing Nocturne.
That levels up. Talia. All right, what's that last card going to be? I can I can definitely beat Evershade Stalker. I'm not scared of Evershade Stalker. But what's the last card? Bask in her radiant blessing. Just gotta do this right now. Yep, no. Basically keep them from attacking. Yeah. So Trossy doesn't kill us. There we go. Look at that. I felt it. Or like Talia is good. <laughs> he said sarcastically. <laughs> See, we went in with Talia. Important. Lissandra Trundle. I don't know if we're good against Watcher. Like, yeah, I don't know if we're good against Watcher. It seems like maybe we're not good against Watcher. I'm not sure though. Yeah, so we need Equinox, Stun, Obliterate. Talia's gonna hard carry. Like always. Take the falling. I, I feel like the double stun may be more useful, but I'm going to take that with having these fangs. Like both fangs, they have a better chance of finding the double stun. Hush. I just have to play Talia copy a landmark like one time before <laughs> this game's all over. Nothing escapes my watch. Uh The trolls are going to war. Like threading a needle. Nothing's tougher than a troll. That would be a surprising block. Ready the torches. That's the more realistic block. Yeah, Tali has Tali helped us out a lot. Helped us burn two guards. Uh... 
That's not so great. So they didn't attack because I told them that I had Shapestone with my previous Talia attack. cards out of our hand. So we gotta figure out how to deal with this thing. 9 4. Okay, that could help. I can't play Talia because I'm gonna have too many cards in hand. So I have to get rid of this card. Just take the serpent, I guess. It's just gonna die, you know, it just dies to the ice shard. I have to get out of my hand though. Leveled up, Talia. I will weave my own path. All right, Talia, how good are you? Onward, everybody. The horizon calls. Feel the power of true eyes. True ice, you say. Relax your knees. Attack doesn't like do any damage basically because of the tough nexus. I can kind of see if they play something first. If I want to do something first. Besides that, if like if they pass with all 13 mana, it's not like that's like the worst thing for me. You will do as I command. That thing's still like an 1117, and so like I don't know what I'm supposed to do against an 1117 still. Like that other one they have in hand. I thought they were yeah, even though I can Equinox that, that's still gonna just kill me. I mean, I guess I guess I have the ob Obliterate though, so we can go Obliterate those. No, I should keep Lissandra in. So I should have stunned this Matron. I should Obliterate the Trundle. I guess I have to obliterate this thing. Oh, it takes so much damage. I should keep the Lissandra in play so that they can't play another Lissandra, so they can't get another Watcher. Because right, I, I assume another Lissandra... Oh, wait, does another... Oh, no, 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 they, they only make one Watcher anyway. Okay, this isn't like other cards. Okay, so they'd only make one Watcher anyway. 
Okay, so never mind. So I could have got rid of Lissandra, but oh well, that's fine. It's still just a 3 3. It doesn't attack for nearly as much as a 6 6, so it's still fine. It looks like they got fading memories. Oh, and Tomb. So I need to hush that right now. This is going to have Countdown at 2. So then it goes to our turn, Countdown 1. Their turn, Countdown 2. It goes away so they can attack immediately on their turn. So I have to hush it now. So that whenever it comes back, it's silenced. Which I wanted to use that hush on this trundle. So I'm going to have to try to figure out what to do with that trundle later. Thinking about like how I want to use that with mana and everything. Embrace the calm. Bask in her radiant blessing. Yeah, so I could comment the landmark. Um, just get rid of the eleven seventeen for good, but. I don't really know what I'm doing. If I do that, I don't I don't know how I beat this trundle. Where like the landmark I can still I can, it's still it's, it'll just be a, a vanilla eleven seventeen. I can still block it. Or I can I can keep it stunned with like moon weapon. There is this frozen thrall that's counting down also. That's gonna be a mess. That eight eight. They just have every single like <laughs> they just have every single one of their champions in the first half of their deck. Must be nice. Like a That's just their third trundle. They've already had two Lissandras. They've had five of their six champions already. I've, I'm a lot farther down into my deck too, and I've only found one of Felios. Me complaining. I don't behold another Celestial right now, but I can. So basically, Cosmic Rays gets rid of, we'll get rid of Lissandra and Ice Pillar. I guess Immortal Fire is actually probably more difficult for them to kill. All right, that's actually probably the play. Don't attack with Trundle. These open attacks never let me stun anything. Nine? I never get to stun stuff. This way I go to one, this way I go to two. That's two it is. One doesn't seem like a good idea. So I think silence for good now. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. The tall is a mountain and covered in ice. I would like them to vengeance right now. So they try to vengeance this turn, the vengeance next turn. My only hope of winning. So might as well keep that thing at a high life total. Alright, so they don't have Ice Shard. 
22 5? Dude, let's go. Dude, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that to happen. No! Oh, the frostbite card. I guess. Alright, so what, what can we do? The old frostbite card. Hmm. Wasn't harsh winds. We were so close. We were so close. Okay, an aggressive deck. So this one hopefully won't be a 30 minute game, but <laughs> I was just saying like, yeah, Talia is definitely hard mode. If you can, if you can win with Talia, it is not easy. So they do spend like some like they spend some early turns just saving up spell mana because they play the uh, so it may be like oh man you're doing great but they use the spell mana on like the scout. No more hiding. What do you see, boy? We may need like the warrior or falling comet to take down a misfortune, but Golden Sister is good in this matchup. This one's tough. I like all three options. Um, I'm gonna take the Golden Sister. Guided, my brethren. We'll see how that works out. All right, so that was basically three mana, kill my two, one, and deal four damage to me. Or no, I guess only two damage to me. So yeah, they only get one other attack, so that's not bad. So I'm, I'm happy with that. For like, you know, how good those spells can be. That's not, it's not too bad. Need more mana. Another golden sister? Sure. Bask in her radiant blessing. Every wave is a path. Wrong card. To do. Jarvin's pretty good. Back heretic. Yeah, Jarvin with scouts, definitely very good. I was a little surprised they didn't play this tattered banner first to give the Jarvin challenger, but we don't know what else they have. Okay. 
Talia. Let's put these rocks in the motion. Let's get another Veil Temple. Try to put these rocks into motion. You're covered. The reason to do that is you have like one of those rally cards. That definitely feels like a rally. Something to keep us moving. For the glory of Demacia. All right, so they missed, so it's There's misfortune on top. There's the rally card. Not the worst for me. Not the worst. How close are you to leveling up? Three? Mm. All right. Something to keep us moving. The ocean charts our course. Um, get this moon glow over here. That's four. That's five. Leveled up, Talia. We have some game against aggro. But not necessarily the most. Okay, what shall we do? Like threading a needle. Have lots of landmarks. Alright, maybe not that one. Huh. I'm probably gonna replace one of these with the other golden sister in my hand this turn. One of these landmarks. Don't back down. But we sure got a lot of Nexus healing. Defend with this 8-5, 3-2. So much Nexus healing. Okay. So we take six. Then heal eight. We go back to 20. Yeah, another Felios would be nice. A little one one. In the name of our land. Bless is motion. My steel is yours. 
They show the 1 1 challenge, the 6 th Like, they want to challenge the lifesteal, which I guess they don't. Let's say they should put it in front. I guess they just want to challenge Talia. All right, let's find some things to win the game. Scourge. Scourge seems like it's going to win the game. Ugh. I can't play... Well, let's see. I guess... Okay, so it's going to be the Charger. I could have played just the Charger right here. I was thinking, how am I going to... Oh, Shapestone. I see how am I going to get like this mana, but Shapestone will get us that. My grace. I didn't expect you here. So all their things get. Oh no, they didn't have it. So they don't get the bonus. Down to six. Even sand has its uses. All right, so going down to eight, but we basically clear their board. They're going to have two barrier challengers between the Jarvan and this Honored Lord. This Honored Lord hasn't challenged anything yet, so it'll still get barrier. Of course, this thing will have barrier. They will sing of our ear, dog. Prince Jarvan, you must come with me at once. Baron, let's see these fools off first. Huh? another scourge so they can give each other overwhelm you won't leave a so not sure what that last card is going to be it's got to be like a rally i don't know i'm at 20 still like, yeah that I could think it's barrier now. So they can kill my Talia. I think playing the Scourge was just fine also, but like either, either way, like we were going to be good. Alright, two and two. Alright, so there we go. So we're just going to uh, call it after the four games here with the Talia Aphelios deck. I know we usually like to do the five, but you know, this game, this uh, video was getting quite long here after the four. And I think you saw like some, uh, you know, you got to see what the deck was all about. Um, but I have to say that I, I was still pretty impressed with it. You know, like it's it's difficult trying to win with Talia. It's not like the easiest. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, if you've been having success with Talia at all, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm all ears on how y'all are winning with Talia. I think this version was pretty good though with Aphelios. Um, you know, like Aphelios, you know, it's still good. Like it still can win those long games, right? Like if you, if you don't die right away, if you can get to the late game, you're still playing Targon, you're still playing the Celestial cards and the Moon Weapons. Really like Star Shaping was kind of like our main way to win though, right? Like Star Shaping with the big Celestials. That was that was basically like how we were winning. Um, our games was big Celestials with Star Shaping. Um, but there we go. 
All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Like I said, if you've been playing Talia yourself, feel free to let me know. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.